the SpaceX Dragon capsule has brought four astronauts back to Earth from the International Space Station. The SpaceX Dragon capsule splashed down into the Gulf of Mexico just before 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time. SpaceX is about to make history with this Dragon spacecraft, one we've never seen before. This spacecraft is preparing for a historic mission on the International Space Station that changes everything we never thought was possible in space. And the most incredible thing, it's designed to carry out the most complicated operation independently that is totally on its own without human help. The capabilities of this spacecraft has got everyone, including NASA, Russia, and the government baffled. What are the details of this spacecraft? And does this mean for the world of space exploration? Join us in this video as we explore this revolutionary technology. Interesting details about the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. November 8th, the Dragon spacecraft is about to dock at the International Spacecraft Station. It will perform a reboost. This is an effort to push the space station slightly higher in its orbit, away from the gradual pull of Earth's atmosphere. Various spacecraft have carried out this operation before. This is going to be the first time that SpaceX's Dragon will be stepping up to the challenge. But this reboot about to be performed by the SpaceX Dragon is exceptional. Its maneuver is entirely different and unique. The data collected will not only provide insights into Dragon's capability to support ISS operations in ways we haven't seen before, but it also will inform SpaceX's future designs for a larger version of the Dragon. This is just the beginning of the unmatched capabilities of SpaceX Dragon. Keep watching as we share more. SpaceX Dragon wasn't just built just for carrying astronauts and cargo. It is now ready to help keep the ISS safe and floating high. And that's not all. SpaceX wants to build a bigger, stronger Dragon that could one day help guide the ISS down to Earth when it's finally time for the station to retire. When that happens, Dragon will carefully come back to Earth after years of being in space. The ISS lives about 250 miles above us, but it's close enough that tiny bits of air slowly keep dragging it down. To stay up there, it needs a little push now and then, like the one Dragon will give. For years, Russian spaceships did this job, keeping the ISS safely in orbit. But now Dragon will try it too, proving it can handle even more tasks in space. This push is especially important now. Since 2022, many countries have faced challenges working together on space projects due to political issues but the ISS is still something they share. It's one of the few places where Russia, the United States, and other nations still work as a team. They all contribute different parts and technology to keep this incredible space lab running. Even with the problems on Earth, space exploration brings everyone together, showing that some goals are just too big to be stopped by borders or politics. For SpaceX, this reboost mission is a huge step forward. When Elon Musk started SpaceX in 2002, his dreams were wild, like reusing rockets and landing on Mars one day. Many people thought he was crazy, but SpaceX kept proving them wrong. They built rockets that could fly up, land back down, and fly again. Now they made Dragon, a spacecraft that could carry astronauts to the ISS, and has become one of NASA's favorite partners. And now by performing this reboost, Dragon is showing it can do even more. And from this, SpaceX will gather all sorts of data, like how Dragon performs and how well it can handle such a big responsibility. This information will help SpaceX build an even bigger, better Dragon, one that might someday handle the biggest job of all, which is safely bringing the ISS back to Earth when it's time to say goodbye. Since it was launched in 1998, the International Spacecraft Station has been very helpful, especially for discovery. It's not just a building in space, it is a place where astronauts study everything from human health to distant stars. All that research helps us here on Earth and teaches us what we need to know if we want to go even further into space one day, but like anything, the ISS won't last forever. NASA plans to keep the ISS until 2030, after which they'll need to carefully bring it down to Earth. This is a huge task. Bringing a very big structure down safely takes planning and power. Dragon is expected to be the spaceship for that job. It will guide the ISS to burn up safely in our atmosphere. Space agencies like NASA and SpaceX are working hard to make sure this can happen as safely as possible for both the ISS and the people on Earth. In all these, do you know what is more mesmerizing about the SpaceX Dragon? Its features. They are super cool, 
Stay tuned as we delve into the amazing features of the SpaceX Dragon. You won't want to miss this part. Exceptional features of SpaceX's Dragon. The Dragon spacecraft features are very impressive. SpaceX Dragon deorbit vehicle is being designed to operate independently without the need for human help. This is necessary because deorbiting the International Spacecraft Station will be a complex and a little bit complicated operation that must take place at the end of the ISS's service life. Since the process involves guiding the station down in a controlled descent to safely burn up over a remote area in the Pacific Ocean, it's safer and more efficient for the spacecraft to handle it without risking human lives on board. The autonomous feature of the deorbit vehicle has not become a vital factor in allowing the spacecraft to execute accurate operation, calculate burn times, and handle any real-time or pressing adjustments during the deorbit process. The spacecraft is 8.1 meters tall, which is just over 26 feet, and with a diameter of about four meters, or should we say roughly 13 feet. That is a compact powerhouse, but it is comfy. The spacecraft can carry a launch payload mass of 6,000 kilograms, that is 13,228 in pounds, and a return payload mass of 3,000 kilograms. This makes it very essential not only for delivering supplies to the ISS, but also for bringing back experiments and equipment that need to be returned to Earth. Inside the spacecraft, the pressurized section provides a volume of 9.3 cubic meters, around 328 cubic feet, which is essential for housing both crew members and sensitive cargo. And the trunk can hold an additional 37 cubic meters of volume or about 1,300 cubic feet, making it possible to transport even larger items. The trunk also serves another important purpose by supplying power to the spacecraft. One half of the trunk is lined with solar panels, which generate electricity for Dragon during its flight to the ISS and while it's docked there. This self-sustaining energy supply keeps Dragon operational without relying on the station's resources. Because the Dragon brings its own power generator, which allows it to stay fully functional on its own. Before Dragon returns to Earth, the trunk will be detached from the main capsule. This way, only the capsule, which carries the crew and any important cargo, will re-enter Earth's atmosphere, while the trunk becomes unnecessary and it will eventually burn up. Dragon's maneuverability is made possible by its collections of Draco thrusters. These thrusters allow the spacecraft to adjust its position, maintain its orientation in space, and carry out orbital adjustments when needed. Each of the 16 Draco thrusters generates 90 pounds of force, which might sound small, but in the vacuum of space, it's enough to make precise adjustments to Dragon's position. Dragon is equipped with eight Super Draco engines, each capable of providing a thrust of 71 kN. The Super Dracos are part of Dragon's launch abort system. This is a very necessary safety feature designed to separate the spacecraft from its Falcon 9 launch vehicle in case of an emergency. If there's ever an issue during launch, the Super Dracos can propel Dragon away from Falcon 9 to make sure the crew is safe. As Dragon prepares to perform the ISS reboost, it's worth noting just how far it has come since its debut. The Dragon capsule, originally developed as an unmanned cargo vehicle, but now has evolved to include a version known as Crew Dragon, which was adapted to carry astronauts. This upgrade is a massive step forward for both SpaceX and NASA, because it is the first time a private company is taking humans into space and delivering them to the ISS. This new mission to reboost the ISS is another great achievement of Dragon's list of accomplishments. By supporting the ISS's orbit, Dragon is taking on a job that has normally been the domain of government sector programs, future of space exploration. Bill Spech, NASA manager, has talked about the open collaboration with SpaceX. They share data, troubleshoot issues, and jointly ensure the safety of both Dragon and the ISS. SpaceX and NASA work as a cohesive team. Each brings its expertise and resources to the table. After re-entry, the spacecraft has two drogue parachutes to stabilize itself, followed by four main parachutes to slow it down for a gentle splashdown in the ocean. This system has been tested and proven multiple times, which shows SpaceX's emphasis on safety. It's fascinating to think about where Dragon will go next. This mission to reboost the ISS is only one of many other missions this spacecraft is up for. SpaceX has set its sights on more than just low Earth orbit, its ambitions reach as far as Mars. The same principles and technology used in Dragon will also be used for future missions beyond Earth, 
and it will even open more room for further exploration and mission as more information will be gathered from the SpaceX Dragon mission. Well, everyone is all awaiting what the future will bring, but from all these, it looks very promising. What are your thoughts on this massive move made by SpaceX? Drop it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, click the next video shown on your screen. You will enjoy it.